think it's time to set the record straight. I can't make a YouTube video about interior decorating and paint colors in front of a backdrop of U-Haul boxes without explaining myself fully. My fiance and I are in the process of moving, which is extremely exciting, but I'm not sure if any of you know this already, but moving is a bit of a to-do. Not as easy as everyone thinks. You would think it would be super simple. Just take your things, pick them up, put them somewhere else. We have solidified our color palette for the new house. I just can't wait to start putting it on the walls and everywhere else. But more importantly, I can't wait to share them with you right now. So buckle up my fellow paint people and poke that like button for moral support because it's a lot, but we're getting through it. That's all that matters. Today we have eight colors to go through, which essentially covers the upstairs and the downstairs of the new place. The basement is gonna be a whole separate thing that I'm super excited to eventually reveal to you. The time is not right right now, right? So the first color in this palette is the most boring one. And no, it's not the main color, it's the trim color. The last time I opted for Simply White, but this time I opted for our old faithful Super White, OC152. To me, this was the white paint color that most closely resembled the pre-mixed whites that I used to use years ago. It's a perfect compromise of stark, but not sterile, clean, but not cold. It's just about as bright of a white that I'd want to go with, to be honest. It also goes with pretty much everything, color-wise. All the baseboards, doors, frames, they're all going super white. Next is my main color, which basically forms the template upon which I built the rest of the color palette off of. And interestingly enough, I used this in the bathroom of the loft that I'm still in. And I liked the look of it so much that for the next place, it's going to cover the main living area and the hallway. It's gonna go everywhere, except for those few places where it doesn't, basically. The color itself is called Dove Wing. Not to be confused with White Dove, okay? I know some of you like to make that little mistake, including me. I love it though because it brings in a subtle warmth that really comes to life with sunlight, but it never comes across as feeling overly yellow or creamy which isn't a bad thing, but for my next color palette that I'm putting together, I wanted it to feel a little more passive. Dare I say a tad gray. <laughs> to me, Dove Wing just feels like a very, very light taupe. And that's what I like about it. Now, speaking of colors that I used in the loft, I have plaster of Paris pretty much everywhere. I also have an extra gallon of it lying around, so you best believe I'm gonna be finding a use for it in the next place. Sometimes, you know, if you got lemons, you make lemonade. If you got plaster of Paris, you throw it in the laundry room. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll put it in the laundry because it's just a touch warmer than Dove Wing, but more importantly, it's also a bit darker as well, which I want in my laundry room. That extra little bit of depth will make it more forgiving when I'm trouncing through with laundry baskets and step ladders. It's going to be more forgivable and those scuffs won't be quite as noticeable. Of course, I like the idea of completely starting fresh with your paint colors when you're moving from one space to another, but it's nice to carry over some lingering themes for a bit of a design through line to help connect the spaces together because I'm gonna miss this loft. Not enough to not move, okay? Let's be clear. Let's talk bathroom colors next, specifically the primary upstairs bathrooms. If you are a subscriber, you may have got the hint that I tend to enjoy cooler leaning colors in bathrooms, I guess to help convey a little bit of a spa feeling as best as I can. I ended up landing on paper white, which is not really blue leaning or anything, it perhaps has a touch of a cool green when I saw it in the space, but really it ends up feeling like a very smooth, subtle gray that blends right in. And I want it to blend in so that the vanity color I chose will really pop. So yeah, each of those upstairs bathrooms we have, they have that builder's super dark chocolatey brown kind of color, which is fine, but I'm more than fine, right people? Ew. Another thing that I want to bring over to the new home is this kind of color, but not just in the form of accessories. I want to paint the vanity atmospheric. It's not an identical color match to this, but I really love the combination of blue, green, and gray. My intention is to perhaps get the bathroom just completely gutted in a couple years, but in the meantime, I really want to enjoy this color hue for a couple more years before I completely change things up. Okay, so now let's move on to the bedrooms. 
You know I had to include a green age, okay? Duh. This one I was actually pretty torn with because my first choice was Ali's earring. Conceptually, it's kind of a perfect color for me. A little bit of green, a little bit of beige. But I was a little bit concerned with the amount of, well, green in it. I know it sounds crazy. I love green age, but it's just too green of a green age. My reasoning behind my concern is I'm planning on using it as a workspace temporarily, kind of a home office, and I wanted the color to be just a tad more neutral, but still along the same lines. And I think I found that with November Rain. Of course. It was one of our paint people 2022 colors of the year after all. November Rain is the front foyer of the House of Green Age. I mean, I didn't use it in my front foyer. I mean, metaphorically speaking. I just knew I wanted something to remain in that greenish color palette, but still pop off enough of Dove Wing so that your sight lines are really interesting. When you're in the hallway and you're looking into the bedroom, you'll notice a difference, but it'll be subtle. Hopefully it won't be too subtle because then maybe Ali's earring would be better. Can't wait to see how that turns out. Now for the next bedroom, I took a bit of a risk because I ended up going with a recent color of the year. I know, so basic. I remember it being a fairly polarizing choice altogether, maybe because it felt a bit too trendy and has since fallen out of favor a little bit with some people, but I still wanna give it a real go for my guest bedroom. And even though Peach is having a bit of a moment, I still wanna show love to everybody's favorite pink First light. I'm actually really looking forward to putting this room together because I feel if I can pull it off, it's gonna be a really peaceful, serene guest space that people will be clamoring to sleep in. Maybe because their eyes will be closed and they won't be able to see the wall color, <laughs> but I digress. What I find interesting about first light as a pink is when you go to the color preview color chips and you see those seven colors lined up, dash 70, 60, 50, all the way down to 10, you'll start to see the color get darker and darker and darker. And when you get to the darkest colors, you're not gonna find deep pinks or magentas or even reds. In fact, the darkest color along that line is actually earth brown. So when I think of first light, it's just a really, really light brown. Okay, but anyway, you slice it. I think it's gonna look really awesome and I can't wait to show you the finished product. Finally, we have the last paint color in the palette and it is for the all important primary bedroom. We can't say master bedroom anymore. Oops, I said it. Now I came across this paint color when I was looking for a Benjamin Moore chip that resembled a Faro and Ball color that I recently fell in love with. I did do an Instagram poll asking you all if you liked it or not and spoiler alert, you did, very much so. My inspiration was Pharaoh and Ball's Inchira Blue, and the color that I ended up going with was Benjamin Moore's Nocturnal Gray, a beautiful, rich, deep, blackened teal. It's what Aegean teal wanted to be, but could never be. I'm just kidding, that's a good color too. You can learn all about it right over here. Another color of the year, as a matter of fact. 